Hello and good evening and welcome. Yeah, good afternoon even. So yeah, we're on, um, goodness me, what are we on? Thursday afternoon, uh, half past four in the afternoon. And it's very rare that I go live um, on a, a weekday. So, but today I have to go live because something rather special has happened to me, uh, which doesn't happen very often. So um, yeah, I have received a parcel from uh, one of my channel subscribers and that is uh, Peter Webster. So so, um, yeah, thank you ever so much, Peter. So, and he's asked me if I'll do a live unboxing. So, here I am. I'm live. Uh, is is the unboxing? So, we'll get straight down to it, and uh, we'll we'll also have a look and see who's in the chat as well. So, uh, let me change my camera. Come on, camera. Here we go. Okay. So, and uh, I hope uh, everyone's well and doing okay. So, there we go. So. Let me just uh, exit that, and then I can have a look in the chat. Well, we've got Jarda Dave in the chat, so good good afternoon, Jarda. Uh, he says, hi, Dave. We've got Peter Webster, the man himself. He says, hi, Dave. So, hi, Peter. Thank you very much. And uh, Peter says, hi, Jarda. And uh, Jarda Dave says, hi, Peter. Okay, right. So I'll just start that comment, then we know where we're up to then, don't we? So, right, this was the box that was sent to me uh, by uh, Peter Webster. And I've obviously cut out my address uh, for security reasons. Obviously, um, you know, we don't want our addresses uh, online. But you can actually, if you want to, um, if you want to send any of us a gift, uh, have a look in the description, uh, which I haven't put in this video yet. Uh, but there is uh, places in the description for you to either send or um, you can befriend us on Facebook or uh, whatever in the community. You can always find us uh, one way or another. So uh, this lovely uh, little box arrived uh, the other day and uh, it says uh, www.greenstuffworld. Now, is that a red herring? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so obviously I haven't opened it. Uh, as I said, I've just cut my address out the front here and um, my postcode and everything off the stamp. So, and uh, to save obviously any embarrassment. So I'm looking around the box now and I'm thinking, well, if I cut this tape around there and there and then go to the other side, I might be able to get into this. So let me just have a quick slurp of my tea. Oh, yeah, it's not like a good cup of tea in an afternoon. So, um, yeah, down near uh, out in the sticks, it is um, uh, freezing at the moment, freezing temperatures. It's been um, raining and sleeting uh, for some of the day. And, um, yeah, it's been quite miserable, really. Um, I actually had a, a bad night last night. I didn't sleep very well and um, I got really bad. Um, neck pain and uh, I'm not going to bore you with the details because obviously that's me I am I am a, a, a little bit poorly at the minute so um, but yeah I'm not sleeping very well at the minute on a night and uh, this weather certainly isn't helping because obviously um, when you've got bad arthritis and what have you it's, it's no good for you this weather so Anyway, trying not to moan um, as much as I could moan, I suppose. <laughs> so let's see where we can get in here. Oh, I see there's a there's a, a place around here where we can get in. Uh, I'm um, hoping to do a, another um, off the cuff live stream. Um, I was going to do this recorded, but uh, I can't for the life of me. I can't figure it out how to do recorded right now. <laughs> I don't know how to do it, but it's just me. I'm not. Uh, I'm not with it. So I was going to do a another one uh, on the bus that I'm working on on here, which is obviously the blue, the blue bus uh, which I'm working on. And I do believe uh, Peter saw me one day messing around with that and the Bedford, and then he said, "Oh, I said I want to send you a gift." So he asked uh, Christine where we was and everything, and where he could send it. And so here it is. So. Goodness me. Now I'm going to need some uh, advice uh, from my good friend Horlex on some of these things, I think, uh, because obviously he sent some some bits and pieces that uh, are for our um, our route master. So, oh, and I've seen instantly, look at this. Wow. Yeah, 
that's a that's a special sticker well that special sticker is going to go on uh, matt here somewhere it says that uh, green stuff weld so yeah i might as well have one i've not got one of them stickers I've not got many stickers at all in fact i think i've just got a rise the boys sticker and i think that's it from anybody's channel so right i am going to need some some obviously some technical advice on things like this uh this is a mini usb board and uh, it's a nano uh, v3 okay microcontroller so i'm going to obviously need some techno advice on this and on this too and it's for mobile phone and tablet pc and um just have a quick look inside okay three in one photo lens okay it could be um it could be a red herring or something i don't know <laughs> i don't know what it is so long as you haven't sent me a spider pizza that's the <laughs> obviously i'm joking so all right let's have a look in here so we've got some lenses oh look at this nice little bag some lenses okay and um wow so obviously i am going to be able to do some special things with these so on my channel once i get used to them so we've we got your lens cap Ooh, lens yeah superb okay and um so I'm looking forward to uh, getting the knowledge on that one. And then obviously this one will be another lens as well. Let's pop it back in there so it's nice and safe for the moment. And uh, it says three-in-one photo lens. And there's the other one. Okay. Now this might come in very, very helpful actually, Peter, with um, when we're going out and about with our vintage car or we're going out and about with our buses on display somewhere. So, because uh, I love taking photos and I love taking photos that I can add to a stream as well. So, and that's something that I wanted to do for 2023 was uh, I've got thousands of photos and I want to put them on, um, on the YouTube because I've noticed one of my subscribers that I subscribe to is a vintage car nut and he goes all over the place to vintage car rallies and he um, he actually takes photographs of cars and then <coughs> excuse me in the winter he puts them on his um, on his YouTube and they do make a fantastic little show you know adds, it, it puts backing music to it and everything and you know and then sometimes it just talks about the car itself or the vehicle or whatever he's taking a photograph of so oh so i've got some some lenses here which are going to be wide angle and fisheye okay so they are going to be very very helpful so thank you ever so much peter for that um yeah i'm going to be able to do something in the region of uh, taking some photographs for the channel which hopefully will help as i say i have, I have thousands of photographs of various vehicles or places or or, or what have you um in fact i was looking through um some of my photos to try and put a header photo on here and um all the time it was telling me that my file was too big so um i have to decrease the file to get uh, a specific photo on as a header photo um but what you what you maybe don't know peter is that i actually um earn about four uh, facebook groups that are vehicle related or engine related or or other and i'm also i've been on about six other groups as well so that are vintage related and so they're either vintage engines or vintage buses or vintage cars or you know um so it's it's all sort of vintage related and um taking a, a brilliant photograph of course makes all the difference and it makes all the difference to um to, to to people as well when they're seeing a nice a nice bright photo so and i'm pretty sure that i can use these on other projects as well so thank you ever so much for that peter i will be giving you a update on them uh once i get to to know what they do and obviously they've got a nice little bag to put them in as well and um so you don't get uh, finger marks on them and such like so that is that this is the um the mini usb board now um 
I think we've been talking, haven't we? We've been talking about projects that we're going to do with the bus and other part works uh, between me and Horlix and, um, and and several others. And, um, oh, look, what we've got in here. We've got some LEDs. And let me just get my fingers in there. Oh, we've got a board as well. Lovely. Okay, that's still in the packet. So that's a little nano. So... This is something I wanted to get into as well on my channel is um, just a few um, easiest projects of making things happen with with the part works. So as you know, Peter, I am I am building or going to be building the one thirty two scale uh, HK Lancaster. And I'm going to be putting that into a um, coffee table diorama and that coffee table diorama will have. Uh, things moving on it such as the the um hopefully the uh, propellers will be moving and then there'll be a few lights as well so i'm, I'm thinking that i'm not going to put sounds in it but who, who knows but obviously things like this will come in for that uh later on in the in in the series so yeah and some lovely leds in here and i will have to obviously ask uh, both your advice and holic's advice on these are these the flashing ones or are they the standard ones? Anyway, I can try them out because uh, I've got all the all the other bits and pieces to try them out. And then we've got um, some ebook um, ebook um, Bible so of um, of tutorials. So that'll be great as well. So yeah, so I'll see if I can download that on my phone and see what comes up got a newsletter on there as well yeah so that might might be very interesting thank you very much indeed peter and i'm pretty sure that um you know obviously some of these bits you're going to see in the future uh, with the things that uh, both me and Harlex have planned um with uh, the bus especially and um and several other projects along the way so thank you very much and i've just noticed goodness me um, I was only asking on the channel the other day where on earth I could find one of these toilet, uh, sorry, these brush toilets. So <laughs> this this is a, a really novelty item. It really is fantastic. So let me just try and get this out of the box. And um, so it wasn't a red herring after all, because this is from Green Green Products. Uh, sorry, Green greenstuffworld.com so and this is the brush toilet fantastic <laughs> oh brilliant so yeah the brush toilet i saw this on books channel that's on the hobby Ho hobby town modelers and um it basically if you're doing some painting projects and with acrylic paints and you want to um w wash your brush out with some water if it'll wash out with water you just simply use this uh, it says a brush rinser, but it's actually it's like a toilet. Obviously, you do do your business in the bowl there, <laughs> and uh, and then you uh, you flush the uh, and it comes uh, the water rushes down and it puts it in a box underneath. So you have always clean water to rinse your brush out on. So, but you have all your dirty water underneath, of course. So. If you want one of these guys, these are absolutely fantastic. I do love watching them in work, and, and obviously I'm going to love working with this as well. So, Peter, thank you ever so much. This is brilliant. So I will open it later on, and I will try it later on as well. So thank you ever so much, Peter. Uh, that is going to be absolutely fantastic. So if you want one of them, they're from Green Stuff World and you can follow them on facebook and twitter and all the rest of it so and yeah so basically what you do is you press your button and uh, with a return spring so and that flushes it down um it's got a rubber drain plug on it as well and it's got like a ribbed uh, insert in there so when you brush your brush on there um you know you can get all the all the um all the paint off and what have you and then you can just uh, flush it it's got a 30 flush capacity pair of bottles so it's got it'll do 30 30 brush um swills on your on your brush and uh, the water reservoir is um two towns 250 drains underneath so yeah so it's www.greenstuffworld.com uh, slash creative if you want one uh, but i've at last got one so thank you ever so much peter 
very very much appreciated indeed and uh, yes uh, you can be assured that i will be using this <laughs> i will be using this on um, from now on so because um well from probably from um saturday night onwards and uh, when we're when we're doing with the bedford of course so yeah so let's go quickly go back to the chat so uh goodness me we've got a lot of chat come in guys so thank you ever so much so peter says uh well why don't they bring it up come on there we go peter says you are welcome my friend no thank you ever so much very very much appreciated peter so chris says uh, hello peter and peter says hello chris and then jody dave says hi chris and chris says hi to jody and then we've got uh not lad yt hello mate hello thanks for joining and um uh, peter says hello hi not lad and uh chris says hi not lad and uh, not lad says uh, yt says hi guys hello there so and uh, jody dave says i was sick last night it was up till 2 a.m okay now oh goodness me dave i hope you i hope you sound better mate yeah i was i was up very early this morning but i couldn't get off to sleep till about four <clears throat> and i was up at about quarter to six so my neck was absolutely creasing me to death um i've i've got to um see if i can get some some injections uh organized for my neck it's really bad and the weather's not helping neither so and um so yeah i wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy what i have so but yeah it's just pain 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 so not lad says uh how is everyone and yeah we've just said we're not very well at the minute so um not lad says uh sorry couldn't pop in long uh, i've got to go that's okay not lad not problem uh take care now and uh crafty chris says take care now not lad jordy dave says uh hi not lad and um kenneth uh, says morning from georgia hello kenneth and uh, thanks for joining and um peter says hi kenneth uh jordy dave says hi kenneth christine says hi kenneth and uh peter webster says i thought they would be useful yes uh, yes absolutely absolutely useful so let me give you a little sneak preview of some things i'm going to be working on shortly so i have got uh here i've got the part work upgrades um power mod for the root master i have got the power uh, pack for the root master and in here i have got um i'll just get it out of this box i have got a secret project uh that is um come from horlix and um i will be working on this ever so uh carefully um uh, within the next couple of days so yeah uh watch out for that because obviously this is the um the uh, bluetooth root master mod so uh, obviously be careful and watching out for that one so i'm trying to keep it under wraps as much as possible and uh, because there's a big reveal coming off very shortly so i don't want to give too much away so but yeah uh, that'll be coming off very very shortly indeed i've got some extra wires to put on the bus uh, which is right in front of me i'm going to hopefully try and get this uh, to a state where we can get um the all these bits and pieces working on it uh hopefully tonight and then I, i'll hopefully do a stream either tomorrow or saturday um or sunday depending on when i feel confident to make um a one-off stream for the room master and he, yeah i mean such as you guys you you are helping all along the way so um i'm very very thankful for any help that we receive on this project we're not doing it for money we're doing it for love and um yeah i'm pretty sure that at the end of the day uh this this mod will be available to to buy um but you know i'm, I'm hopeful that it'll be a reasonable a reasonable purchase that everybody will want uh, because it's just going to be so special and so one-off so uh peter says arduino nano and lage yeah thank you very much and uh Jod dave says nice one peter and uh, peter says standard standard leds you can program them flashing with arduino yes thank you and uh, i've got a special project lined up for that as well <laughs> so um Jod dave says cool like it yeah okay so the special leads and let me into a little secret now so the flashing leds 
Um, I think you know about the Winnie, uh, Winnie Route Master that I actually got from Jason and his diorama. Well, his diorama is actually going to be twice the size. So it's not just going to be one side of the road. It's going to be both sides of the road. It's going to have the bus on one side of the road at the bus stop um, where he had it. And then the other side of the road is going to be the other side of the road. And it's going to have cars on it and a broken down car and a RAC minivan um, fixing the car that's broken down the other side of the road. And uh, a policeman and several other um, a motorbike and a scooter and several other diorama pieces. And um, I'm going to have uh, the RAC van having a flashing flashing light on the top uh, so that will come in handy for that and then there'll be other things on the diorama as well so and the diorama will go into our uh, all being well it'll go into our display case that we've got the three buses in at the moment so i can just slide the buses out and then slide the diorama in and um, we can have a special diorama piece in there which will hopefully be uh, powered by a power mod uh, or several power mods and uh, relays and nanos and uh, arduinos uh, so that several things are going off in the diorama that look uh, absolutely superb so that's what we're we're hoping to do uh, but it will take us a long time to do obviously so but yeah because i've got this blue blue and white route master to finish i've got the open top route master to finish and then I'm going to start on on um, the Winnie Route Master, uh, rebuilding that and the the diorama and rebuilding that as well. So yeah, it's coming up very shortly. Okay. Ah, goodness me. So we've got Yorkshire Crafter. Hi, Dave and everyone. Hi, Julie. Thanks for joining. Uh, Peter says hi, Julie. Johnny Dave says hi, Julie. Chris says hi, Julie. Yorkshire Crafter says hi. Peter and Yorkshire Crafter says hi, Crafty Chris. Yorkshire Crafter says uh, hi, Jolly Dave. Peter Webster says I'll uh, I'll put the eBay item number in chat tonight, Dave. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you ever so much. Yeah, that's that's very much appreciated to uh, to everybody. So and uh, Peter Webster says I was hoping that would be a nice surprise, buddy. Certainly, certainly is. Thank you ever so much. Yeah, definitely a nice surprise, and. Um, yeah, the weird sticker is as well. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, and um, we've got Max Mods in the building. It says, good afternoon, everybody. So, good afternoon, Mark. And uh, thanks for joining. And uh, Johnny Dave says, Peter, can you send the number to me as I'm not on tonight's show as I've got to go to work? Yeah. Um, yeah. If um, if it doesn't happen to do that, uh, Johnny Dave, we'll send it to you as well. Okay. Peter says, uh, hi, Mark. And uh, Jordi Dave says, hi, Mark. Uh, Mark says, uh, hi, Peter and Jordi. Peter Webster says, uh, get better soon, Jordi. Yes, that's from me as well. And uh, get better soon, Jordi, says Max Mods. And uh, Peter Webster says, uh, another hole in your belt uh, of knowledge, Davis. Yes. Um, yeah, absolutely. Something else that I'm going to have to play with and um something else that's pretty good as well because you know as you know yourself you know building models is okay but um after a while i suppose some people say well it's a bit boring you know it doesn't do anything you know what does it do and um for those that we take out on sure it's it would be quite easy to just make the lights work and everything else with the battery pack on on the buses or whatever we're taking um but to have something that's special you know that that does something that nobody else's uh, bus or model or you know diorama does then that is absolutely wonderful because uh, obviously that makes the model itself then doesn't it because then that that gives the wow factor an extra wow factor for people looking at it and um yeah that's where they get questions of where did you get that from how did you do this uh how much was it blah 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 you know and there's so uh, it it, it gives you a conversation piece then more than anything else doesn't it so um Jody dave says uh, i'm okay now um i must not agreed with the kebab i had for tea last night i have to be okay as night shift tonight yeah hopefully you are going to be okay Jody. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed for you, my mate. So I hope you're going to be okay. So uh, Peter Webster says, enjoy your gift, Dave S. And I'll see you all tonight. Uh, th 
tonight all so yeah thank you ever so much peter thank you ever so much once again and yeah we'll see you tonight definitely um uh, either t tonight or tomorrow night or um saturday night and i may even do sunday night as well so i just apologize for this impromptu um live update i was going to do actually a recording but i'm glad i've done it live now now you've been on with me as well so um i can't actually remember how i did a pre-record but that that's me i'm not very computer savvy so and um yeah the, i'll only stick at something for so long <laughs> computer wise and um usually there's a few choice swear words going off and then you know then i get the hang of it <laughs> but uh anyway I, it's better than it was because i used to go near a computer and it used to go off so <laughs> anyway we're getting there so thank you ever so much peter so right i am gonna uh, start and shut down now and so uh, yeah peter says bye all for now so thank you ever so much peter bye now take care and uh, yeah we'll see you very soon i'll come back on the screen if i can I found my face. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so facing there we go. There we go. Okay. So yeah. So thank you ever so much for joining me this this afternoon. Thank you ever so much, Peter, for sending me them wonderful gifts. Uh, it's been much much appreciated. I can tell you, it's going to help me no end. So thank you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll see you see you shortly on one of the other streams. So uh, goodbye for now and take care all. And uh, thanks for joining me this afternoon. Okay, so I'll find me outro and then we'll go. All right, so goodbye from me and uh, take care now. And thank you once again. <laughs>